Time for our midday minutes. My guest today liked that forecast drying out today. I'm sitting here with Nakia Kemp, Executive Director of the Police Athletic League. Thanks for joining me today. Well, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Nakia, I told a friend of mine that I had you coming on the show today, and he's like, Police Athletic League, pal? He's like, pal, they're still around? <laughs> pal has been around for a long time. But for people who don't know, tell me a little bit about what you do over there. So PAL has been around for over 65 years. Wow. Yes. That is a long time. And we provide youth programming in the city of Buffalo um, for many youth in collaboration with law enforcement. So we have a lot of different programs that we run, uh, mainly out of the Buffalo public schools and in community centers. We're in six city funded community centers. And I saw online looking at the mission statement, it says mm -hmm. it's to maximize, not duplicate opportunities furnished to area youth. And I think that's a big thing. We see mm -hmm. so many programs popping up. People trying to provide you know opportunities for youth but right. it seems there's an overlap sometimes so what mm -hmm. does that mean by maximize I think that you know sports is the great unifier mm -hmm. everyone loves sports everyone loves football basketball baseball and I think no matter what you look like what your ability is or what you may or may not struggle with social and emotionally sports seems to bring everyone together mm -hmm. so we layer our programs underlining in literacy underlying in some stem development doing some different things um, to just draw kids in and keep them interested and we're looking at video now everything from golf you have skiing trips tennis mm -hmm. where are these children coming from you said Buffalo Public Schools but mm -hmm. how are they learning about you and how are their parents getting them involved well a lot of community involvement mm -hmm. uh, right now we're in six community centers uh, we're providing programming at no cost so most of our programming is c completely free mm -hmm. the community centers which are uh, operated by the city of Buffalo and the Department of uh, Parks and Recreation are open every day from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. So they're open every day after school, Monday through Friday during the week. Um, children can come, get help with their homework. They have full gyms. Um, so it's lots of different activities going on. We just have to take advantage of those opportunities at no cost. And do you think that, the, I'm trying to think about what the barriers to entry mm -hmm. are. Is it that parents don't know that it's free? Is it that they have a hard time getting their children there? Why do you see some parents maybe not taking advantage of free services? Well, we're neighborhood based and we service a lot of children, thousands of children. So we do have a lot of children participating. So I think a lot of people do know it's mostly word of mouth. Mm -hmm. We do some social media uh, outlets, but it is word of mouth as if your child comes to a program and they really enjoy it, they'll bring another child with them next time. Families, we run full day um, summer camps. Mm -hmm. I mean, we run four different sites that run all day for summer. I mean, for limited cost. And every year we tend to double that number and people who apply because it's such a quality program. You brought some props with you today. I have I a few did. flyers. So I what did, is this? I did, I you did. have <laughs> youth flag <laughs> football that this is starting up. Game changers. Tell me a little bit about these two upcoming camps programs. So flag football is happening now. Okay. Um, they can go to our website, buffalopal.com, and, and look up dates and locations and times. But they're in the evening, 5.30, between 5.30 and 9, normally during the week, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. They can go for free and try flag football. So we want kids, boys and girls, to just get out there and sport sample to see if they really like something. And in the spring, we offer a full league so they can participate in a league program as well. And tell me something unique about this is they're working with actual law enforcement. These yes. are real officers. So what do you see, how do you see that relationship growing? Because we know there's a lot of mm -hmm. stigma surrounding youth and you know, their perception of law enforcement. Well, I, I love that, that relationship. Um, we've had the opportunity to work with the neighborhood engagement team with the city of Buffalo and our new commissioner Lockwood. And what we see is unlimited engagement. The officers come in, um, they're learning just as much from the youth as the youth learning from them. It's a two way street. Uh, we want our officers to be safe and in order for them to be safe, they have to build that, those community connections. So we really uh, appreciate them a lot of them volunteering their time and efforts to make sure they come to events, to make sure that they're out there throwing that football, to make sure they're out there bouncing that basketball. Um, so I think building those relationships are, are positive, are key. And you've been around and you've seen this. So have you seen as the kids are growing, they're continuing to stay through programming oh, and changing definitely. how they, they feel or maybe growing to want to be a, a police mm -hmm. officer? We've had uh, tons of kids turnkey. Every year we hire about 67 
mayor's summer interns that work for us. And every year we turn them over and they're able, once they turn 18, they're able to work for us. Um, we put them in Buffalo Public Schools. Um, and I even have a couple of staff now that have been on staff that have taken a police exam that'll be moving on to become officers. So now they have that foundation of, of community that they've been working with these kids and they're able to, to move forward. I love that. And then lastly, I want to talk about the PAL auction that we have mm -hmm. coming up. It is November 19th, and this is something you do every single yes, year. Yes, yes. Really quickly, in about mm -hmm. 15 seconds, just tell me what that does and where that money is going towards for programming. Well, this year our theme is celebrating law enforcement, so we're actually looking at some community change makers in law enforcement. It's a huge auction. We have everything. Everything you can think of. It's such a great event. Um, and all of the proceeds, 100%, roll right back in the program, so that's little or no cost um, for our youth. So we're really excited. Okay, love this. I'm going to post all this information. Come out mm -hmm. to the auction. I went last year. It was a great time. Nikia, mm -hmm. thanks so much for joining us today. Appreciate it. So to come here on 7 Eyewitness News at noon.